let's say that you wanted to have classes nested within themselves. Kotlin supports that. So let's say you have a class called vehicle and the class vehicle has a brand and the brand is gonna be string and we'll just default that to unknown at this time. Now, perhaps a vehicle also has a type of a steering wheel class for whatever reason. So we have steering wheel. So we actually put this class inside, inside of the vehicle class. And then I could say something like this, val name, or we make this var, whatever we want to do. And we could say the steering wheel. And inside of here, we could even provide a function of some sort. So we could say functions info, and then we could just say, could be a print line of some sort. So inline function, and we would say name. We print the name. Now, if we wanted to use this class, we could actually very easily come up here and say, val steering, SW for steering wheel, say vehicle dot steering wheel, create a new instance of it. And then I could say SW dot info. And if we were to run this, we will see that it prints the steering wheel, which is we see here. Now we can also, we're not limited to just one class. We can have multiple different classes inside of here. So we could have a class and we could call this one a transmission. And perhaps we just, for whatever reason, we're, we're building some automotive software and we're going to have a, a var type and it could be, we're going to default this to automatic. And then of course, maybe we might have a function called shift and we'll just have it print off something like that. Say print, print ln. And we'll say the vehicle has shifted. And what now we can do is of course, we have the steering wheel. We don't have an instance of the transmission. We would say val transmission equals vehicle dot transmission, of course. And then we'd say transmission dot shift. And of course, we're gonna see when we run this, we'll see the steering wheel and then we'll see the vehicle has shifted. So now each time we, if we were to run this multiple times, we'd see the vehicle shifted twice. Very simple. So we can actually nest classes inside of here. Now notice we haven't done anything with the brand here. So we could also have some information about the, we have a, func a info function here. And this one would just print off the brand here of the vehicle and the brand of the vehicle will kind of print off there. And let's actually set this to a var because we know we're probably going to change that as well. So maybe we want to do say something like this val vehicle equals vehicle. And maybe we want to change the vehicle to brand equals fiat a vehicle dot info. So we'll print, we'll see Fiat, and then we'll see that the steering wheel and the vehicle shifted and the vehicle has shifted. So that's how we can nest classes inside of Kotlin. And it's useful for when you want to kind of, or things are somewhat related and you want to kind of keep a class hierarchy accordingly. So you might have a vehicle and inside of that, it's, there's a steering wheel. So as we're creating it, we can kind of see that these things are related. So there's many different related domains that you're going to encounter in software. This is one way to organize them with nested classes.